SpongeBob SquarePants is one of those favorite shows I love watching on television. Other than Angry Beavers, J. Arnold, and Rugrats, SpongeBob shows its breaking points, featuring a variety of many genres from action to drama. This cheery animated kids show features a happy-go-lucky hard-working sponge named SpongeBob, who goes on adventures with his best friend neighbor, Patrick Star, known as a dumb, fat sea star. In the other hand, Squidward is a mean and bossy squid who's always bragging about himself. Mr. Krabs, the owner of the Krusty Krab, is a crab who's greedy and wants everything free for him so he wouldn't have to pay for his own money. Otherwise, he would act dramatically towards others. Pushing that background information about the show aside, I'll tell you about my story now. One day, I got sick from school because I had caught a stomach virus, which means I can't find a way to stop puking for every three minutes. Great. Anyways, I turned on the TV and went to the Nickelodeon station to watch SpongeBob. One of my favorite episodes I preferred watching were from series 1, 2, 3, and a little bit of 5 and 6. According to my Theo's TV guide, it said that a new episode of SpongeBob SquarePants was releasing about an hour later. As both of my eyes were wide with astonishment, I was excited to see it. Despite my enthusiasm, the flu took over me like a demon trying to get into my body. I vomited onto my soft, cold blanket but I didn't care. Few minutes passed, after the second episode of SpongeBob finally ended, an advertisement showed up with a male announcer saying in a usual cheerful voice, like in other Nickelodeon commercials. Don't go away. A new SpongeBob SquarePants episode is going to air in about five minutes. If you watch this episode once, it will never air again on television. I smiled for a second and stopped abruptly. I repeated the announcer's words in my head, and I was confused. Why would they show an episode only one time on television and not air it again? I looked at the clock and it was 12.55, exactly five minutes before the episode started. Commercials started to play onto the screen for about three minutes before going back to the advertisement, but this time the announcer started to say something else. Now showing a new episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. I repeat, if you watch this special episode once, it will never air again on television. That's what I thought he said. After this, the commercial then cuts to the show. The opening sequence starts normally as usual, but the animation looked sort of off which makes the song, not in sync. After the intro ends, the show cuts to a title card as a loud, low, heavy distorted buzz started to fill the speakers. I covered my ears as soon as the sound stopped for what seemed to be about six seconds. The title card had a blue background with the white usual SpongeBob font that had read, SpongeBob's hallucination. I started to think that this was obviously a joke, but curiosity knocked right into me hard like a bullet, saying it's not. Music wasn't playing at this part, but I could have sworn I heard a woman screaming playfully and faintly in the background as the words started to flicker red. It could have been my imagination. No, I actually heard that for real. The title card crew didn't show up, no animation directors, storyboard artists, nothing. It just skipped to the episode. The episode started off with an outside look at SpongeBob's house without the usual bubble transition. His pineapple looked sort of rotten, the tops were slanted downwards and the skin around the house looked sort of bright yellowish. The windows looked sort of broken as if someone threw a rock at one of them. The audio starts with a loud, slow twisted tune with what sounded like an old film projector playing in the background, accompanied by a distorted sound of an unknown voice singing. The voice overlapped one of the sounds with what sounded like Patrick, telling Spongebob that he's outside. The voice was deeper than usual, it sounded like if it was a middle-aged man that was imitating Patrick in a normal voice but slightly pitched down. As the distorted tune gets mysterious than before, the voice called out to Spongebob again, the camera cuts to one of the broken windows, and in the first one was Spongebob. He was sitting on a floor in what appeared to be his kitchen room. One of the walls were rotten as well, they were peeling off before turning gray and one of the barrels that Spongebob used to own were on the ground, broken. The camera angle cuts back to Spongebob, putting his legs to his chest with his hands around them. The deep voice of Patrick called out to Spongebob once more and another voice tried to do the same, but I couldn't make out what that other voice was trying to tell him. The sound gets louder and more obscure at this point. During the next two seconds, the camera cross fades to the right side of Spongebob, showing his white bloodshot eyes, looking off camera, and dry lips. His head looked like it was a different color, sort of a dark yellow, and the walls of the kitchen room began to change quickly. For a few seconds, he looked at something by him as if there was someone else with him. The camera abruptly shot to Gary, 
who is eating this food in his usual bowl. A second passed and Gary turned into a hunk of rotten meat, the name of Gary's bowl had been scribbled out. The camera shot to the whole kitchen room and many slow and audible voices were playing at this point. The screen resembled negative and original colors back and forth as the camera started shaking. The colors of the kitchen room started to change at this point, and the camera angle shot back to Spongebob, looking now afraid. The voice of Patrick was loud and not deep this time. He repeatedly called out Spongebob's name three times, before impossible videos overlapped the changing colors. One was a girl in high heels crushing a worm. The second one was a person's spit dissolving, and the third one was a girl disemboweling herself with a razor. During the time, she screamed out in agony and wrath as she felt the sharp end of her razor pierce into her stomach. The fourth video showed an old clip of a fully naked baby crying in a bed, as there was a woman sitting beside the ladder starting to play with her. What's horrifying is that the baby's eyes were inverted and her mouth has an overbite revealing to front teeth. I lost it at this point, I vomited on the blanket and on the floor like it was one large spill. I coughed harshly after, put my hand over my forehead, lied down on the couch returning to watch the episode. The fourth video faded out and the rest of the colors stopped abruptly as the camera cuts to Spongebob in a reflection, looking grosser than ever. Worms were wiggling around in his holes, one of his eyes were popped out of their sockets and his mouth was wide open, revealing a lost tooth. His whole head was pruny and white as if it was drawn in a realistic style, one of his hairs were standing out on each side of his face. A sound of a woman screaming in pain began to play, hanging from left to right on the speakers. The other soundtracks stopped at this point, fading out, but the slow sound of wind chimes can be heard in the background accompanied by Patrick's deep voice singing Spongebob's name. Now back to his scared look again, Spongebob got up and tried to walk, crawl whatever he could do to get to a window before putting his face out of it. The camera cuts to the view of outside the pathway to Spongebob's house as various buzzes began to play loudly to the speakers like a group of geese. The sky was black and white, large particles of black start fuzzing in the air whilst brown particles start to move around on the floor like flies. The background, during the time, showed a clip of cells joining together while moving around. The camera abruptly shot back to Spongebob's gloomy face. Patrick's voice called out to Spongebob in that sing-song voice again. Leave me alone! Spongebob shouted at it. Spongebob! The voice asked him. What do you want from me? The deep voice then answered something I can't make out before a picture zoomed into a black and white shot of a woman's face totally bruised up and beaten. Her eyes were misplaced onto her forehead, she had scraggly black hair, and her mouth was open in absolute shock while blood ran down the left side of her cheek. The picture showed up for a split second before a loud screech tore through my ears. I vomited some more and put my head back onto the arm of the couch. Grotesque photos of death, murder, and suicide are quickly overlapping the screen as the whole kitchen room began to shake violently. One of Spongebob's picture frames, his refrigerator, everything was falling down on the ground and the walls were peeling faster than before. Colors flashed again on the screen like it was during a dance party or something of the kind, and the loud noises of animals dying are playing in the background as if they sounded like they were from a slaughterhouse. The noises and the obscure colors stopped for about 20 seconds and the look on Spongebob's face grew out of raw horde. The noises were back, growing more fierce as Spongebob ran out of the kitchen room crying his eyes out. Spongebob opened a door that leads to his living room as the noises got more indistinguishable than before. The voice of Patrick called out to Spongebob again saying that he's in here. Spongebob looked around the room but saw nothing. Tears were quickly streaming down his face like a waterfall as he got to his desk, writing his last words in what appeared to be his journal. I can't tell if this is a dream. I was in shock as I heard this sentence. The voices and the noise grew louder before it abruptly ends to the hissing noise of static. The episode ends with the usual credits, but there was no music and the words were horizontally flipped. What would I say about this episode? Needless to say, I am scared out of my mind after I saw it. I went onto my computer to look up the title of the episode, but no results showed up. Nothing. Not only this one little episode changed my entire outlook on SpongeBob SquarePants, it was still messed up nonetheless. After watching it made me get nightmares later that night, and despite my curiosity, there were a bunch of questions that were randomly popping into my head about the episode. Why did Spongebob have a horrible hallucination? What caused him to do this? Was Spongebob even alive at the end of the episode? Pushing these questions aside, there was another one that left me speechless to this day. How did the authors get away with making such an odd, abnormal episode?